So I got this really interesting package today in the mail from Adidas, and I've gotta be honest, I really wanna know what's inside. <laughs> what's up everybody, I'm Seth Fowler, and today I'm unboxing, or I guess unbagging and reviewing, whatever is inside this package. So first off, huge thank you to Adidas for sending over whatever this is. Obviously you guys already know what it is because of the thumbnail and the title because this is an official review, but I don't know yet. So it's still a surprise to me, and it's possible that there are some other things inside this bag or package or whatever it is that uh, weren't in the thumbnail. So let's pop it open and see what we've got. While I'm doing this though, if you guys haven't yet subscribed to this channel and you wanna see more sneaker content similar to this, make sure to click that subscribe button down below and also follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at RealSethFowler because I probably teased what this package was over there first before dropping the video. So if you guys want some early looks, make sure to follow me over there as well. But inside this package, we've got a couple things, it looks like, which actually I should talk about the outside of the package first. We've got a, uh, a picture of a wall. So pulling out what's inside, we've got a couple different things. First, we've got a piece of cardboard. Oh, this is, oh, it's a book, okay. So we've got this really cool cardboard bound book, or I guess cardboard covered book, that actually says, hold up. I know exactly what this is. It says it on the front of the book. Okay, well you guys know too. It's the NMD S1. This is a pair of sneakers that I actually talked about in Weekly Heat a while back. And uh, I just didn't think it was coming out this soon. Oh, hold up. We got a note. That kind of just came out of nowhere. I have no idea where that came from. Okay, so the note says, Hey Seth, we wanted you to be one of the only 100 people in the world to receive a pair of these friends and family NMD S1s. Yo, huge thank you to Adidas for this. This is crazy. But before we get to the shoes, which I'm assuming are in these little bags right here, let's take a look at this, uh, this little booklet. So inside this booklet, we've got a couple different like mood board style pictures. Ooh, we've got pictures of the shoes themselves. Man, this is such a huge overhaul of the NMD too. I wanna show you guys these pictures, but it's really gonna ruin it for the video, so I'm not going to. Uh, if you guys wanna see it on probably my Instagram stories or maybe um, Twitter or something like that, make sure to follow me, at Real Seth Fowler. And then we've also got this little, uh, I don't know what this is, this little envelope. Let's peel it open. So after peeling off this little thing right here, the envelope says, stop, look, find. I'm not sure what that means, but we're gonna stop, we're gonna look, and we're gonna find. So inside the envelope, we've got some more paper, okay. It says stop, look, find again. Looks like it's a poster that we can unfurl or unfold. Inside the poster, we've got a picture of, okay, the wall again. I'm not sure what the significance of this wall is, but they use it on all their marketing for this sneaker. It's very mood board-esque which is what I'm sure that they were going for. But now let's get into the actual sneakers themselves, the friends and family pair of the brand new upcoming NMD S1, which by the way, I'm actually going to um, do this unboxing, I'm gonna wear them around for the day, and then I'm gonna come back and review them for you guys to give you guys my full thoughts on these sneakers. And while yes, these sneakers were provided by Adidas, um, it's not gonna be a biased review. I'm gonna be honest about it, I'm gonna let you guys know how I genuinely feel about these sneakers. Let's just see them. These are crazy. So this friends and family colorway is the Clemen, Clemen black colorway. I'm not sure what that means, maybe Clementine? It can't be Clementine, it's, it's blue. So the standard release pair is gonna be all white, but this friends and family pair apparently comes in this gorgeous blue color and it looks like they come with shoe trees too, like special Adidas shoe trees. Yo, this is crazy. Special NMD S1 branded shoe trees. These are crazy. Yo, huge thank you to Adidas for these. These are so different than a standard pair of NMDs. I mean, obviously they're the next generation of NMDs. It's not like the NMD um, R1 V2, which was similar, but a little bit different. This is just a completely different silhouette altogether. I mean, 100% different. Everything about it's different. The upper, the midsole, I think it still has boost in there. Let me throw these guys on, try them out, and give you guys a full review. Okay, so I've been rocking the brand new, or I guess upcoming NMD S1 for a couple hours at this point, and I've gotta say that overall, I really like it. Now obviously, like pretty much every new product that hits the market, there are a few things about this shoe that I kinda wish had been done differently, but nothing that's a deal breaker, and overall, I think this is a very solid brand new silhouette. Now before we get into this review though, I do have to say that there are a lot of things about this sneaker that I don't know yet. Specifically, some of the materials that go into this shoe, because there just isn't really any official information out about this sneaker yet, and also the release date and the price of the shoe. And while I don't think the release date is that important, the price is definitely something that is important, because if the price is too much, 
Even if the shoe is great, it's probably not worth it. Now, I would assume based on what we've seen from previous NMD launches and also the tech that I think is in this sneaker, that this shoe will probably retail for around 180 bucks. I would think that's probably the sweet spot for this shoe. I mean, that's what previous NMDs have sold for. That's what full-length boost sneakers with primed uppers have sold for as well. So I would think that's what the price is going to be. And I will say if this shoe is more than 180 bucks, it's probably on the slightly too expensive side. And if it's less than 180 bucks, it's probably a great Great value. But uh, 180 bucks would be my guess, and so that's sort of how I'm gonna approach this shoe as if it is a standard $180 price point. Now the first thing that I noticed about this sneaker, other than its pretty nice aesthetics, is the weight. This is a very heavy sneaker, and I think there's a couple reasons for that. The first reason is obviously the full-length Boost midsole, and it's a very thick Boost midsole, actually very similar to the Ultra Boost 21s that released earlier this year. It almost seems like they have the exact same amount of Boost in them, which I think is pretty cool and actually makes the shoe very comfortable underfoot, but because there is so much Boost, it does make it a slightly heavier shoe, but I think the thing that most contributes to the overall weight is the rubber that sort of encases the boost that wraps around the midsole of the sneaker, and then also these just giant rubber pods on the bottom of the sneaker. I know they're definitely like a traction detail and they're there for a reason, but they remind me a lot of the trail outsoles on the Pharrell Human Race NMDs, and those are pretty heavy sneakers overall, and this definitely has a similar weight, if not a little bit more heavy, and I think it's mainly due to that rubber, just the huge amount of rubber <laughs> on the bottom of the outsole. But let's dive into the upper of the sneaker and find out what makes the NMD S1, such a new and interesting silhouette. So starting off from the toe of the shoe, it seems like the material that's used on the upper of this sneaker is some variant of Prime Knit. I would assume it's Prime Blue, which is a recycled version of Prime Knit. And to be honest, from what I can tell, it feels just like Prime Knit, so I'm pretty sure that's what the material is. It's a little bit stiffer than an Ultra Boost Prime Knit. It's definitely closer to like a... Uh, maybe a Yeezy 350 Prime Knit, or maybe like a, uh, a Human Race NMD Prime Knit. So it's not as soft as Ultra Boost Prime Knit, but it's still very soft to the touch. It still gives you a lot of breathability and some nice mobility. And overall, I think it's a good material. And I think because this material is a little bit stiffer than standard Prime Knit, it does give the toe of the sneaker a little bit more shape and a little bit more structure. And also on the medial side of the shoe, you have this little bit of fuse overlay, which provides a little bit more durability to the toe of the sneaker, which should help. Obviously, as you guys saw earlier in the video, the colorway that Adidas sent me is a friends and family colorway. Apparently, there's only 100 pairs of this sneaker, which is still kind of blowing my mind at this point. But I think the standard colorway that's releasing first is the all-white colorway, so the upper of the shoe will come in white. The midsole will probably come in some sort of white with some black accents on the pods, but if you like this sort of colorway, you're gonna like the white colorway because they are very similar sneakers. As you move back in the sneaker towards the midfoot, it seems like Adidas has drawn some inspiration from Yeezy sneakers, specifically the Adidas Yeezy 350 V2 and the Adidas Yeezy 380. And the reason I say that is because on the midfoot of the shoe, you have this really interesting sort of like clear plastic mesh window where you can actually see through to the socks underneath. And the reason I say that is because as you guys can see on the midfoot, you've got this sort of clear plastic mesh material, which is the exact same material, or at least seems like the exact same material used on the side stripes at 350v2s and that weird sort of like scratch detail on the 380s and I don't mind it I think it's an interesting touch which I've got to say I'm definitely down for I'm a sock fanatic I started a sock brand because I love socks so much so I like the fact that you can see through to the sock and obviously in this video I'm rocking the brand new upcoming apothecary mid 3m socks which are fire they come out in like a week and a half so make sure to stay tuned for those if you guys are interested but it allows you to see through to whatever kind of socks you're wearing underneath which I really like and then over top of this little window you have have these sort of fuse overlay Adidas three stripes. It's an interesting touch overall. I'm kind of surprised that they didn't make the three stripes. The sort of clear panel on the shoe, that would have made a little bit more sense to me. I feel like this, this shape almost feels like it's deformed because of the way that the knit is pulling it. I don't know if it's supposed to be like a perfect rectangle or if it's supposed to be kind of a wobbly rectangle like it actually is, but not a bad detail, and I definitely like the fact that you can see your socks. I always like those details. In the center of the midfoot, where the tongue of the sneaker would traditionally be, if this wasn't a booty construction, you've got this really soft and stretchy prime knit that makes it a lot easier for you to get your foot into the shoe. Weaving over top of the prime knit, you've got these rope laces that have 3M accents that kind of weave through these little, like, prime knit nubs that have little lace eyelets in them, which I think is pretty cool. I don't know how much the laces actually do on the sneaker. I don't know if they really help tighten the shoe at all. I guess they do a little bit, more so than the previous NMDs, to be honest. But for me, when it comes to shoes like this, I usually don't even worry about tying the shoes. Obviously, I did in this case because I don't know where else the laces would go, but I feel like these sorts of sneakers, you just buy the right size and you're good to go. You never have to tie the laces because they just fit on your feet like socks. 
An interesting detail that I found on this shoe, which I think is actually on all the colorways and not just on the friends and family colorway, but at the ends of the laces, you actually have these really nice wax dip tips that come in alternating colors, one red, one blue, which I think is a really nice touch. It kind of seems like a callback to the original NMDs, which featured red and blue plugs, so I think that's the reason that they did it, and I'm really into it. I think it adds a nice pop of color to the sneaker. At the top of the tongue portion of the shoe, you've got this little suede tag, which is kind of off-center, and on the right shoe features this nice blue line and the Adidas logo on the back. As I mentioned, before, the construction of the shoe is a booty construction, which means that there's no separate tongue, and because of that, the ankle area of the shoe is very stretchy, which allows you to get your foot into the sneaker. And I've got to say that one detail that I really like about this sneaker is that on the heel, you've got NMD stitched into the back, which reminds me of like, you know, a pair of apothecary socks that you can flip down and see high stakes. Ooh, that might be a new thing that we haven't told you guys about yet. Stay tuned. But uh, it reminds me of that a lot. Also, there's actually some nice padding around the top of the ankle here. It's not a lot, but it's enough, and it's more than I think any other NMD has had. And I've got to be honest, I appreciated that when I was wearing this shoe because it felt a lot more comfortable on foot. Moving inside the sneaker, like every other NMD and really any other sock-like sneaker, your foot is just up against the backside of the prime knit, and then rounding off the inside of the shoe, you've got a black sock liner with NMD S1 and the Adidas logo printed on the heel. Now, as far as sizing and fit is concerned, when it comes to the Adidas NMD S1, I have to say that this shoe, for me, fits perfectly true to size. I had no issues with it whatsoever. In fact, if I had to compare the fit of this shoe to really any other Adidas sneaker, I would say this fits very similarly to the Adidas Ultra Boost 21. I mean, for me, it was almost a one-to-one -one fit between these two sneakers, which I liked because I like the fit of the 21s, but I've gotta say that that isn't the only thing that's similar between these two shoes, and I'll get to that in a little bit. So, if you wanna grab a pair of Adidas NMD S1s, I would either say go true to size, or try on a pair of Ultra Boost 21s, find your right size in this shoe, and that should translate over perfectly to the S1. Ones. Then moving down on the shoe, you get to the largest change between the S1 and really any other NMD, and that's the midsole. So as you can probably see, the midsole is a full-length boost midsole, and it's actually encased in this thin, semi-transparent rubber. Now, as I'm sure you remember, the original NMD did not come with an encased boost midsole, and so that in and of itself is already pretty different. But in addition to the encased boost midsole, you've also got these brand new NMD plugs. Now, the first thing you might notice about these plugs is how much thinner they are than a standard pair of NMDs, but also they sort of come out from the side of the sneaker a lot more than any of the previous NMD plugs. Now, I'm gonna be 100% honest with you guys, I'm still not sure exactly what these plugs are meant to do. I would think that they're supposed to act as a torsion system so that the shoe doesn't twist torsionally, uh, because that's just what I think that they would do. I think that they sort of run across the top of the boost midsole and add some sort of structure to the boost, but I'm not 100% sure, and Adidas never really says what they do. So because of that, I've always just sort of defaulted to them being a support structure. I don't know what for, but I would assume torsional support, but who knows. I will say though that aesthetically, I love the new look of these plugs. They make the shoe look so much more aggressive and so much more interesting. They have this sort of like divot around the edges of the plugs that make them look like they're sort of projecting out of the shoe or coming out of the shoe. And they really make the shoe look like a, uh, like a shark to be honest. This is such a futuristic looking shoe and I really feel like the plugs are the main reason for that. Now as far as comfort goes, this NMD S1 is an incredibly comfortable shoe as I'm sure you guys are glad to hear. In fact, this shoe rivals the comfort of the Ultra Boost 21. And this is where these two shoes get very, very similar. They have a very similar shape. In fact, not only is the midsole a similar shape, but the upper of the shoe is a very similar shape. And then when you look at these two shoes from the side, even the overall silhouette has a very similar shape. I mean down to like this sort of angle detail on the back of the heel. So the way that I see the NMD S1 is sort of a lifestyle or fashionable version of the Ultra Boost 21. And I don't know if that's what it was supposed to be, but I mean, overall, it's a very, very similar shoe. I mean, not only is this shoe similar to the Ultra Boost 21, it's also very similar to the Ultra Boost mids from like 2016, 2017. I mean, this shoe, in my opinion, is more of an Ultra Boost than an NMD. The only reason it's an NMD is because it has plugs on the side. That said though, Adidas can do whatever they want with their product line. So if they want to call this an NMD, this shoe is an NMD. Now, as far as underfoot comfort, this shoe is incredibly soft underfoot. The boost is very, very soft, very springy. Even with this sort of rubber encasement around it, it doesn't stop it from compressing that much. So it still feels great underfoot. You've also got this little sort of upward cut or angle in the heel, which makes this shoe actually a lot easier to drive in. And I'd say overall, the comfort of this sneaker rivals that of the Ultra Boost 21. I think the upper on the Ultra Boost 21 is more comfortable, but the midsole itself, I think is actually softer in the NMD S1, which is kind of crazy. Some other kind of interesting details about the NMD S1's midsole is that on the lateral side, you've got these printed hits, you've got NMD S1 and then the Adidas logo like you have on the insole of the sneaker, and then you've also got Edition 1, 
printed underneath that, which I'm assuming just means that this is the first edition of the NMDS one. That's actually also on the white pair. That's not a friends and family pair as well. So it's not just a friends and family accent. And then finally moving to the bottom of the shoe, you guys may have already noticed, but the traction pattern of this shoe is just a bunch of Adidas tray foil logos. What's kind of interesting is that the traction pattern of the shoe kind of reminds me of a pair of Tim's. <laughs> because of the way that it's laid out. But it is made up of Adidas Trefoil logos, which I think is super interesting and something you can't even tell from the side of the sneaker, which I really like. Very creative, very cool, just very heavy. Especially this big rubber block in the midfoot. I don't know why that's there. I, I, I really don't, but um, I guess it's there to keep the midsole from bending. I'm not sure, but uh, it's a big chunk of rubber. So in conclusion, I think the Adidas NMD S1 is a really cool and exciting new direction for the NMD line. Yes, I do think this shoe is just kind of a uh, prettier version of the Ultra Boost 21, but at the end of the day, that's not a bad thing because that's one of my favorite sneakers of the year. I think all these cool futuristic accents that they added to the shoe, like the plugs and the uh, sort of semi-translucent midfoot panel, make this shoe very interesting and very cool looking, to be honest. That said, though, it is still a pretty bulky sneaker and it's pretty heavy. It's not that noticeable under foot, but if you don't like heavy or bulky looking shoes, you're probably not going to love this sneaker. It is incredibly comfortable underfoot, and if you like the way this sneaker looks, it's a must cop. Because this review is so early, unfortunately, I don't have release details or pricing for this sneaker yet, but as soon as that information comes out, I'll make sure to link that in the description below, as well as affiliate links to grab this shoe if you do want to grab this sneaker when it finally releases. But at this point, I would love to know your thoughts on the Adidas NMD S1 and whether this is a shoe that you're planning to pick up whenever it finally releases. So make sure to let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you once again to Adidas for sending over this crazy pair of friends and family sneakers. Much appreciated. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't yet, and I'll see you all in the next one.